Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs. With John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another a sign of the peace of Christ. This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. For those of you at home, join with me now in a prayer by Father J. Bourgeau of North Bay. He calls it quiet time. Lighting the candle this morning, I sit quietly before it. This is time set aside for God and me to be together. I wait in stillness. I listen. God listens. God is never too busy to listen. My heart is open. I come empty, I come in hope, I come in need to be made anew. Come, Lord, your presence is creative, life-giving. Cleanse and refresh me, 
encourage and strengthen me for the day ahead. Thank you for our time together. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we receive the sacrament which celebrates the memory of the death and resurrection of Christ your Son. May this gift bring us closer to our eternal salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also. May Almighty God bless you and remain with you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Our thanks to Solange, Irene, Isabel, Laurent, and Paulette, whose generous contributions made the televising of today's Mass possible. Remember, if you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep daily Mass on television, and you'll receive an income tax receipt for your contribution.